Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, the square root of 1 10 minus n, square root goes over all of it, equals n. Well, I want to eliminate the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. So, in squaring both sides, I'm left with 1 10 minus n equals n squared. Now, I'm going to get everything over to one side and set it equal to zero so I can factor. So, I'm going to add an n to both sides here, and I'm going to subtract a 110 to both sides. And then I imagine there's some zeros there or whatever. So, I have zero left here equals n squared plus n minus 110. Now, I think to myself, Okay, since there's a, a ones uh, in our a value, if you didn't know about factoring, but uh, negative 110, what multiplies to be negative 110 but adds to be a 1? So we said what adds to be 1, so there's a little question mark, what adds to be 1, but multiplies to be negative 110. Okay, so what two numbers add to be 1 and multiply to be negative 110? Well, that's going to be a negative 10 and a positive 11. Negative 10 times positive 11 is a negative 110, and they add together to be a positive 1. So, meaning I can factor this, factor this one out to be n minus 10 and n plus 11, okay? Now, what that allows me to do by doing that, by factoring it out, I can set each parenthesis equal to 0 to solve, which becomes pretty easy to do now. We have well, n minus 10 equals 0, and n plus 11 equals 0. Well, that just means n equals a positive 10, and n uh, equals a negative 11. Okay? So we have our two answers here, 10 and negative 11. But I need to see, check, really, if any of them are extraneous. So here's my check. Let's go check this. So I had to plug both into our original equation. So let's do n equals 10 first. I'm going to plug 10 and see if it's a true statement. So I have the square root of 110 minus n equals n. Plug 10 in. Square root 110 minus uh, 10 here. Uh, sorry, equals, yeah, equals n, sorry. Equals 10. To, is that true? Well, 110 minus 10 is 100. And a hot square root of 100 is 10. So we're good. That's our check here. So, so far we know that n equals 10 is a true statement. We're good. Let's see if n equals 11, uh, negative 11 is extraneous. So we have n equals negative 11. So we rewrite our equation. Uh, 1, 10. Uh, 10 minus n equals n. I'm going to plug negative 11 in. So square root of 1, 10 minus negative 11 equals negative 11. Minus a negative is plus a positive. 1, 10 plus 11 is 121. And right here we can see, well, this number is positive, this one's negative, right? The square root of 121 does not equal negative 11, not at all, right? Uh, I believe it's positive 11 off the top of my head. A quick calculator, we'll, I'm drawing a blank really uh, right now, but we'll see. 121 divided by 11 is 11. It is true. I was correct. Just wanted to double check here. But 11 does not equal negative 11, so that is our extraneous solution. That is our extraneous solution, but n equals 10 is our only solution, and n equals negative 11 is not. So our true solution is n equals 10. Uh, negative 11 is our extraneous solution. Quick recap right here. We uh, solved by, uh, this radical by squaring both sides, then brought everything over to one side of the equation to get a quadratic. Then from there, I, used, I factored to get uh, n minus 10 times n plus 11. Then, so, uh, set both equal to 0 to get our two values of n equals 10 and n equals negative 11. Okay? I checked both of our answers. The first one I checked it, when I plugged it back in, it became a true statement. True statement. Knowing that, okay, n equals 10 is a true statement. We're good. It works here. But when I plugged in n equals negative 11 to our equation here, uh, when I simplified, it was not a true statement. When it's not a true statement, it's an extraneous solution. Meaning, yes, when we solve it, we get an answer, right? But when we plug it back in, it's not a true answer, okay? So our only true answer here is n equals 10.